we didn't have a lot of staff, you know, there wasn't, um, certainly starting Strongman, it wasn't an easy road, you know, there wasn't any well-equipped gyms, there wasn't any kind of Atlas stones, log presses to use, we had to really um, kind of improvise on what we used for uh, strength equipment. Um, and I think that's why we kind of are very proud of what we've done up here, you know, we're opening the gym, we're kind of pushing it, pushing Strongman to the forefront in, in Scotland and I, I truly believe that's a, a kind of reaction to how well Tom and I have done. Um, so yeah, it's pretty far north, it's, it's, we say it's in the arse end of nowhere, that's, that's basically what we say, yeah, so it's, but it's a cool place to be, you know, it's, you walk down the high street, you go shopping and everyone seems to know you, it's a nice, you know, when we did well in World's Strongest Man last year, you'd go to the supermarket, all the old wifeys, the, the kids coming up to you saying, you know, how proud they were, and, you know, it's such a nice kind of, it's, it's a nice way of being very humbled, you know, even though you're doing well, you're successful, you come back and, you know, old Margaret from down the road, she's like, I remember when you were a little boy, you, were, you weren't that big, son, I tell you. So it's, it's quite nice, you know, it's very um, homely, it's a homely feeling. Um, I, I mean, I, I definitely agree, I've been here. Cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, so people, people again, like in, in the city, like what's the, the way of life like around here? Yeah, so in the Highlands, we're very, um, everything's done at a slower pace, I would say. It's very, I was saying to you earlier on, you know, it's like if we're caught in traffic for anything over a minute, it's, it's a big deal for us up here. Um, it's, it's a nice, friendly way of life. I think we're quite a friendly bunch up here. We're, um, I'd like to thank, certainly Tom myself, anyone, our family are very welcoming of anyone that comes up here and um, because it's so far away, that's when people come up to visit, you know, it's, it's nice that they've made that effort, so for us, like you guys coming up, it's such a long drive, so we want to be able to kind of show you stuff, do things with you and kind of accommodate you as well as we can and um, I think that Highland um, hospitality is, is quite well renowned throughout the world. Um, you know, cross that with a couple of whiskies, you know, a bit of haggis and stuff, you know, it's quite a nice um, welcoming to a lot of people. And, and again, I touched on it, the, the kind of local people, our kind of people that we've grown up with. Um, you know, that's why Tom and I do what we do to a certain point as well, it's to try and put Invergordon on the map. You know, it's the Highlands of Scotland. I've, I've spoke about it kind of new, numerous times about the, the Highland warrior aspect, you know, that's when I started kind of doing strongman and strength, that's what, you know, I envisioned myself to be, it's like almost like a modern day kind of Highland warrior, as kind of cheesy as that sounds, but, you know, we've all seen Braveheart and seen like the, the guys and the kind of clans with the, wearing the kilts with the big claymores, you know, that's basically what Tom and I are doing now, you know, we're going to battle with the strongest men in the world and, and that's what we want to do. We want to show Scotland for what it is. It's a strong nation full of strong men and, and that's what it's been historically, you know, it's it's not a nation of like weak kind of soft men. It's like we've come from it's a hard environment up here, it's like the weather's pretty you know, it's nineteen, twenty degrees here and that's cracking, you know, we're sweating here, but you know, in the winter time the winds are bad, you know, we get bad snow, bad like, bad rain, it's it's not the most um, homely of uh, environments to be from, you know, so, but again, it's this is what we're used to, it's, people will see it, we do our cold therapy, you know, when we go out into these lochs, into the rivers in the winter time, it is really that cold, you know, when we're saying it's freezing, it's like, one, two, three degrees, whatever, and it is, it's Baltic, it's so cold, so it's, um, it's, it's not the easiest place to be from, but a lot of people kind of use that as an excuse not to succeed, um, so it's, you know, we're in the Highlands, it's so far away from Glasgow, Edinburgh, all these big cities, um, and what I would like to show people is that it doesn't matter where you're from in the world, you could be from some tribe in Africa or, you know, the Highlands of Scotland from a little island on the west coast, it doesn't matter where you're from, it's really about how much you want to succeed in something and I think being successful should never, 
or be, wanting to be successful, you shouldn't have any of these excuses. You know, it's a, a town is just a town. You know, you're, you're your own person, so you've really got to kind of put in that effort and put in that hard work, you know, regardless where you're from.